good morning what's up what's up what's up what's up on this happy sunday but it's it's a happy sunday it's a glorious day up in the mill town and if you don't know where that is that is midwest 414 that is milwaukee wisconsin and y'all already know today is what's up and um this is gonna be a venting moment so what's up is jesus didn't have to do it but he did jesus didn't have to wake you but he did what's up is you in your right frame of mind amen you could have been dead sleeping in your grave but god saw fit amen and woke you up this morning praise the lord sometimes we're not always worthy amen because we feel like sometimes if you allow your feelings to dictate to you baby we would have been dead a long time ago but thank god for a gracious god who have your grace and your mercy ticket amen he give new mercies every day amen and so i am glad to be here in the land of the living what's up is jesus is the reason for the season y'all see that sun beaming down on me but i just wanted to quick come on here to encourage my parents out there who are dealing with some children that you know you undid all that you could and what you can do and baby it seemed like even if you have scored them scarred them when they were little or you might have been going through some things i want to talk about that a little bit and i'm just gonna give a little bit of my testimony amen you know in the midst i am a single mom that has went through amen a divorce and it was a painful divorce but baby let me tell you i had enough common sense that i prayed for myself and i told god whatever you do i don't want to lose my mind whatever you do i don't want to hate the individual because i knew within my soul amen hate is just like you murdering somebody and somebody sometimes we allow our feelings to dictate where we going in life and, and ain't nobody got no upper hand on me like that and you don't let nobody have an upper hand on you and i wasn't gonna get into deep into it but i'm just gonna get a little little tell y'all a little bit amen so again up today if if you got some children and if you got some injured children amen or children you might have scarred going through along the way where it meant a bittersweet divorce or been a split up or it just been you going through some things amen and you couldn't explain it to them and you you know sometimes i can't get out of hand they didn't ask to be here but they were here for a reason and sometimes we can scar children amen and in the midst of us going through and i'm not going to go deep but I just want to let you know, baby, if you're dealing with a kid and you know you unscarred them and you want to ask them for forgiveness and they keep on holding you, trying to hold you accountable, you're no longer. I'm here to say who the son have set free. What's up is you free indeed. You should know the truth and the truth should set you free. First John 1 and 9 tell you that he's just and faithful to forgive you. Why? Because he's just and faithful to give you for any unrighteous, anything that you ever done to anybody. So never let nobody dangle nothing or blackmail. It's called a blackmail demon. Never let nobody over, oh, you know, hang something over your head or think they got something on you that you feel like you ain't loose. Amen. But you are loose on today. Amen. And if you hadn't heard it before, again, God have come to set you free. When he gave, first of all, when he gave his only begotten son, when he hung on that cross, you was freed in. Amen. But a lot of times we don't know that we're free. But I come to tell somebody and uplift somebody on today and strengthen somebody and give somebody hope. Amen. Because your kids ain't going to let you rest. Even if they say, well, you keep doing it. Well, guess what? What did they do? What didn't they do? And what could they done different? And what can they do different now? Amen. And so leave a comment below and say amen if you know what I'm talking about. Amen. If you know what I'm talking about, just say amen. And if you want prayer about the situation, just say prayer. Amen. You don't have to tell the story, but amen, you're living the story. Amen. And no longer you have to feel like you in bondage. So I come to tell the devil and make the devil mad on today. Amen. What's up is Jesus is freedom. What's up is Jesus is is a captive savior he will save you he will deliver you and that's what salvation save means s-a-b-e if you look it up in the webster dictionary it means to be rescued from something amen and i know i got a, I got a lot of stuff that i want to be rescued from and i know amen rescued from some things some debts some things some people some places amen and so you are forgiven and so that's what i want to talk about in conclusion of the whole matter when you want to ask god to forgive you baby him, her, she, you, us, we, they, you are forgiven. Mama, daddy, grandpa, all of y'all, you free. You are free from that. All right? And don't no longer carry that pain because what will happen is that pain will go inside. 
Mm, to be continued. If y'all want to hear more, say part two. Amen. Love you. Say prayer if you need prayer. And say amen if you can relate to what I'm talking about. Until we meet again, don't forget to pray for somebody. Anyone uplift, strengthen, and motivate. That's all I have for y'all. Remember. Remember. God is liberty. God is freedom. God has set you free when he gave his son. Love y'all. Bye.